Hey, 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 all you absolutely extraordinary folks out there. So listen, I just want to encourage you as you get your day started, when you find yourself in a situation where you're kind of being rubbed the wrong way, are you taking the time to look at why you're feeling that way? I can tell you there are plenty of circumstances in my life where over the course of time, I'll just feel it and 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 I'll never go to the root of where it's coming from because I automatically assign blame to the person that's rubbing me the wrong way, right? In conversation over the last couple of days with some just super wise folks, um, what I'm learning is that this is not a bad process. <laughs> um, while we should never, we should never deal with abuse and call it okay. If there are things that can be done to cut abuse off at the past, we should definitely take steps to allow that to happen or to even be a part of that happening, uh, I'm definitely not encouraging you to take abuse and say, I'm just going to live in grace and this is just going to be my loving, my loving action. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that in every day life, we have folks that come along that kind of, it feels like sandpaper. I mean, you're just like, oh my gracious. And if we continue to experience it and then run from it, guess what's going to happen? Anybody? We're going to experience it again. Why? Because that's what this life is all about. It's about seeing stuff rise up inside of us. Wait a second. Hold on. What did I just say? I said stuff rising up inside of us and then allowing ourselves to deal with what we're feeling. Like I said before, it's so easy to assign the blame on someone else, which puts all of the focus on that person. Again, that should be dealt with, right? But then what's left? What is that that we're feeling? What is it that you're feeling that that person just keeps strumming that sound paper your nerves? And day after day after day, you are thinking to yourself, I would give anything if I did not have to deal with this person at the gas station or this person that's a, a distant relative or this person that's in my circle. But never do we actually take the time to look at what's going on in here. So what'll happen is we'll continue to face it. My challenge for you today is to go ahead and freaking learn the lesson of what's being strummed on the inside of you that's being, uh, it's raising that ego stuff to the surface and let's deal with it. That is growth. Being able to just put up with somebody, that ain't growth. That's just surviving. But being able to take what has risen to the surface, look at it for what it is, and decide what to do so that stuff doesn't have to keep rising. Because guess what? Once you catch what's down deep, once you get to the root of it, there's nothing else to rise. So you can deal with the most difficult people, and there will never be that sandpaper effect because it's dealt with. But until we do that, it will not be dealt with, so it'll continue to show up. So today, take a look around. What's rubbing you the wrong way? And what are you going to do about you in the circumstance? Love y'all. Word. <laughs>